I'm Cam Truen. We're at uh, my home studio here in Melbourne. Uh, I'm a live and studio engineer, predominantly working for Rufus Dussault. Today we're taking a look at the uh, SSL controllers, primarily the UF1, and how that ties in and integrates with the UF8 and the UC1. So I've had the UF8 now uh, since its release um, back in 2021, and it's been heavily integrated into my workflows um, since I've had it. Uh, obviously the Fader Bank is great for doing automation, which was my initial reason for going for a controller. Um, but more so is the, the soft key assigns, which are, can be user assignable for any types of kind of keyboard commands. So, you know, I've, I've assigned these particular soft keys to be shortcuts for my workflows. For instance, you know, um, import session data, you know, is a series of clicks on the keyboard is now just assigned to a soft key at the top. So I've designed my studio to work both remotely when I'm on the road uh, and then back into the room here. So the, the two for me have to be seamless between um, on my workflows because I, you know, co constantly I'll be out doing revisions, mixing on the road. I need to get back into the studio and easily integrate that back into my system here. What really attracted me to to these, but this particular controller was also just the build quality, the familiarity of SSL, uh, and the big one was the, obviously the 360 um, integration of the plugins through to the mixer window, which is really, really seamless between the plugin to the bus compressor. That integration that way really helped with my workflow. I rely really heavily on SSL plugins across my mix. Uh, and thought it would be a perfect pairing between the two. Inside of that, having assignable soft keys up to, I think, 60 different assignable um, banks, I thought would be really handy as opposed to using a Stream Deck or, or something like that, um, to have it kind of automatic at, at the top here. Sends, you know, pan control, fader automation were really critical for me to just get outside of the box a little bit more and get hands-on with the controller. Which kind of brings us to the pairing of the, the UF1. That was a big thing that was missing before on the UF8 was, and I think a lot of users were really screaming for more of <laughs> some form of transport control, um, hence why they, they released um, this. Uh, which is, it's a, it's a great little unit, you know, it gives you that extra um, you know, really nice tracking motorized fader, which pairs with what you have with the UF8, but gives you the additional um, transport control here, uh, scrub wheel function, and then most importantly, this um, new TFT um, screen, which now houses the, uh, the SSL meter plugin. So what's really great with the new SSL meter now is not only does it sit within the UF1 on the display here, but you obviously have it in plug-in form. So you're not limited to having it just on the left-right mix. You can obviously put it across um, multiple buses, um, channels, and you've now got this metering uh, plug-in parameters and, and overview directly in front of you now. For me, with my workflow especially, um, with mixing and mastering, I like to have a combination of all my metering up. Um, I like to heavily lean on the uh, AB Metric um, plugin by Plugin Alliance, um, as well as the, the traditional uh, PAS analyzer from Waves. Um, I really like RTA overviews when mixing, along with my loudness metering as well. You know, LUFS, peak, true peak metering. Um, is critical to have. So that's what was really attractive about the UF1 was now I can have these different views directly in front of me. So I can now be kind of cycling between having an RTA view specifically on the AV metric, for instance, but keeping um, a peak RMS or true peak value uh, in front of me. And the great thing here is it has different different ranges, right? So I can, I can kind of cycle through um, a series of presets as to you know what kind of linearities I want to see on the metering, along with a phase scope, a lissasu scope, um, and some left-right kind of 
balance metering here as well. That's really, really handy, super critical and great to have directly in front of you. Uh, you can easily cycle through the different modes because that's not all that the SSL meter has to offer. Uh, it's obviously now introduced an analog style VU meter, um, which the resolution on the screen is really, really great. Super detailed, really in depth. You can calibrate it really easily on the reference um, V pot just here. So, you know, obviously I like to um, kind of master mix at true full scale with, with limiting on. So, you know, it's kind of default reference level um, would be kind of peaking. So I'll, I'll tend to attenuate that and kind of calibrate to a, a, a unity here. But, um, you know, I've obviously used VU meters for, for so long and really love um, having that in front. I was actually considering um, integrating some analog VUs now, but I think having this is, is a great solution to that. I think a big attraction for the controller was I'm so, so heavily invested in the, uh, in the plugins themselves, you know, sonically, um, you know, they are fantastic sounding channel strips um, from both the, just the native channel strip two through to the 4K edition that they've, um, they've just released. The stereo imager, widener, the um, high frequency limiter, even through to the DSA. The DSA is my most used, um, you know, DSing high frequency limiter of, of the range. So, you know, I've always been a big fan of, of that from the early days of using those, uh, you know, outboard components to have that in the box. Um, kind of really goes hand in hand. The other good addition is on the 360 mixing window now, it's now um, integrated into that as well. So this is a good kind of zoom out view of your entire session with the 360 app, obviously housing all of your instances of plugins across the board. You know, my workflow to anybody else's is, is, going, to be, is going to be different. There is functionalities within those controllers that I'm not using. Um, but will definitely work for, for other engineers. But the ones that are there are critical to what I'm using now. And having that programmability on those soft keys are, are really, really crucial to getting me to that movement quicker than say something else. If you go to the different modes um, on the surface of the UF1, uh, by default, it starts with um, this kind of channel mode, which um, if I roll this now, we'll have basic transport um, timeline display. You've got your four V pots under here, which are all assigned to the specific channel. So the, the channel encoder here can be cycled through into three different modes. Uh, its default mode is in channel. So if I was to scroll through here, you can see that's um, scrolling through the entire um, session, going through each track individually. And this runs left to right. So um, uh, this, w whatever state the UF8 is in, um, it will follow along um, to the left here. And then you've still got the same kind of um, channel selection, you know, solo, cut, select, which obviously follows along in the door. This section will give you um, just those basic parameters there. Uh, pan, uh, which can be selected here and follow along um, and then display your, your kind of transport timeline uh, there as well. Mixing on NS6L and live consoles, uh, it's all about encoders and faders and functionality. I mean, that's the only way we can work. We don't work inside of a, a keyboard and mouse in a live scenario. So having that familiarity between the two, you know, really helps for me and I think the SSL brings me closer towards what that live format kind of gives me plus in the studio. Even though the, the two are, are, are opposite and so separate, they've never been closer than they have before, you know, especially with the plug-in integration between the live consoles to in the studio. The two feel the same now and I think the controllers for me were um, a step in getting me towards what, you know, that live environment was um, was giving me that I needed more of in the studio.